Hello, hello, how are you guys doing? This is Anna Sokela from FX Ray Channels and I um, hope you're having a wonderful day, man. Uh, it's been a lovely week. So far, it's been uh, so far a very good month for a lot of people, especially people who are new to my group. I think we are having a lovely week on the financial markets. And yeah, man. Yeah, man, I just wanted to do uh, an analysis regarding all the pairs because I think I've been doing a lot of talking, you know. Uh, but the most important thing is to actually know how to trade. You know, the other stuff that we talk about are actually good, but the most important thing is to know how to trade. This In this group, we're here to trade, we're here to learn how to trade, we're here to educate about the financial market. This group is not a gossip group. This is a financial market group. We are here to teach everything here is educational. We are here to pass knowledge from one person to another. So I'm gonna do an analysis um round about now it's like eleven fifteen PM. Uh it's at night right now. So I wanted to do an analysis and actually help someone who's still new to the channel and just let's let's just keep on learning uh, uh yeah man let's just so i'm just gonna check uh there's this pair that i was looking at uh i think it's the it's the usd chf ne? or this one so this is the pair that i've been looking at ne? for sale as you can see i've already sell so if you can see here it this is a a, a prod firm it's a perform challenge don't mind it's written demo so most perform are written demo ne? so this is a perform challenge from my forest friend it's traders global ne? so uh, let me just do an analysis of the nzd chf ne? so uh, i was looking for a cell here so if you could just look here what do we have here uh, what happened here at this point Remember, whenever you're analyzing, you always have to look at your left-hand side. Ne? So, if you can see here, what happened is, you had a nice cosmos at this point. So, you had a shoulder, and then we had a head, and then the price decided to break the structure here, actually telling us it's going to drop. So, from this point to this point, the price decided to drop. Ne? So, this was just a market it was a structure breaker ne? so what a structure breaker for most people to actually do um uh spend money concept what they call a change of structure ne? this was the change of structure so this was actually telling you this is a downtrend ne? so as soon as it go up we are just looking for a nice level of uh demand ne? so there's the base candle at this point if i could analyze here this point highlights here so at this point this way they touched the base and then they decided to drop ne? so they decided to drop ever since from this pattern here from this quasi muscle at this pattern so by looking at it now we already have the structure being broken if I could just draw just a nice horizontal line at this point ne? so we have a nice support zone here so you can see the price have created a nice support zone so if I could just go another left to so actually see the history of this price, okay. Let me go to a hard time frame to so actually see. So this is a nice support zone. So you can see here, this was the first touch, the second touch, and then there's the third touch. And you can see at this point, this is a very significant level. So this is a very important level at this point. Yeah? So what I'm gonna do is, since since the price decided to 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 break this level it decided to break this level of support when it break this level of support it actually left with us a, a base candle there yeah? so this base is a nice supply zone so i just highlight here this point highlight this point this is a nice supply this is a nice supply zone so i don't know why my monitor is a bit shaky so please bear with me i don't know why my monitor is shaky so this was a nice supply zone eh? this was a nice supply zone so at this point since the price decided to break the the support zone 
and then it break it and then it left a, a, a supply zone so at retesting at this point this is going to be a nice place for a sell ne? so this is a nice place for a sell so remember why are we selling here the main reason why are we saying here because the key the key theory behind any price action the price Whenever the price decided to break a certain level, it break it, it retested. So this is the first break. So this is a retest. So this 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 red red line I've just written here is actually my support. This is where you're gonna. I mean, this is where you're gonna put your stop loss just above this above this support zone. No. So this since it's coming up again, you know it's gonna it's gonna go down because it it's it's the first time it's testing this this level after breaking it so this is what you call an ftr so this is a nice ftr so if you could just like zoom it in a bit so you can see from this point from this point to this point from this point to this point this is actually telling you it's a structure breaker eh? so it has already breaking the structure actually telling us we are actually going on a downside so this is a nice sell from the usd chf so actually we got a nice sell from the usd chf so there's nothing much happening on the hard time frame but here on the daily time frame we got a nice sell so you as you can see right here i've actually put my stop loss so my stop loss is gonna be let me just delete this so this is my stop loss so basically this is a challenge so my take profits have supposed to be somewhere here because on my other chat on my other 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 accounts my take profits it's at the slowest low ne? so here your stop loss just have to be above the demand zone so above the demand zone your stop loss have to be here so you're just gonna go for a sell and then hold it it's gonna come here down again Huh? so any questions regarding ftr this is the simple concept we've explained it over and over again so this is very nice né? so this is a nice sell zone for 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 uh, nzd chf so let's just look at some other pairs interesting pairs uh let's go for uh let's go for an nzd nzd usd uh nzd usd NZDSD guys we had this set up so let me just I wanna show people uh, I wanna show you guys something else here um okay let me just click my telegram so I don't know because I'm I ain't using that so I'm, I'm just recording here uh since okay so we had the setup of the NZD USD on the on the uh, I think it's April group now nah? so we had the setup people who took the setup and I've actually spoken about the setup on my previous video now nah? this was a very nice setup and I'm gonna show you guys this was actually a very nice setup you know Quasimoto never disappoint now nah? so we have a nice Quasimoto for a buy Quasimoto so here we have what your left shoulder and then you have your head now nah? and then we have a base candle now nah? on this Quasimoto okay so this is your shoulder and then this is your head remember your break here the store doesn't equal to this store this is the entire break so it's actually showing you that since it went this high this is the highest point is actually showing you that the price is gonna go up again eh? so if i could just highlight it here this was gonna be a nice demand zone so highlighting this entire point here this was a nice demand zone so the price decided to go out to compress it decided to compress and then it touched the demand and it went up okay so this one was a very nice setup i actually we had it on the may group so i don't know if this is gonna load ne? but i'm gonna check uh i'm gonna check my my uh my pictures on the group uh, okay let me just okay let me just click here at this point né? okay let me check nzd nzd i think we had the setup because i don't know why oh there it is you see there it is this was a nice setup guys so if you had it in the group 
So I just wanna emphasize these things to everybody. So let me just see. Oh, I need an app now. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. You can't do this to me. Why? Okay, let me just try and open it with something else. I don't know why it doesn't wanna open. You know, the devil's work. Okay, let me just put like this. Use this app. Probably it will show up. Okay, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. So you see, this was a nice setup. You see, I've explained everything. You see, this, the shoulder here. There you have your shoulder. And then there you have your head. This was your demand. So it was actually making a 3D. That's why I decided to tell everybody to buy. So everybody who was at the Apple group, you actually got this one there. Yeah? So this was a nice setup. Nice setup. So you can check it out. You can check it out here. So it decided to go up. So we actually had a nice, very nice setup, man. But it was actually making a lot of freak when it was going on the demand. Yeah? It was going up, down, up, down. So it was just testing people's patience. Yeah? Remember, the market loves playing with your patience. It's its favorite thing. So playing with your patient is a nice, it's one of its favorite tricks. So there's another setup. Um, let me check. Another setup of the, uh, of the, I think, okay, okay, let me just check this setup. Né? Check the setup of the pound USD. Né? This is a very nice cell. Né? This is a very nice cell, but here it's a very tricky cell. So this setup here, I've been looking at this setup né? for for I've been following it for quite some time. So I just put it here. Put it yeah. Let me just so so okay, never mind. So you have this entire zone here at this point. You have a spike here and you have a spike here, you have a spike here. So if we could just highlight it, just going up a bit, put this level here. So it oh, can't. my monitor is giving me a hard time there. So just highlight it up a bit. So there it is. Now it, this is where it put it nicely. So you have this point here. As you can see, the price was just heating here. Uh, this very horizontal line it's a very significant level it's a very significant level of support and resistance so it plays two part at once because it here it was hitting below so this was a support here it was hitting as a resistance so this is zone is a it's a it's a swap zone so it, it plays a significant level so at this point there's a lot of orders here there's a lot of stop loss at this point so here there's a lot of liquidity at this zone eh? There's a lot of liquidity as this zone. So there's a lot of stop loss. So the price is always going to go for the stop loss. So I've spoken about that so many times. So by going, uh, if you can look at the price by going here, by by actually coming to this point, it was actually creating what you call a compression. So a compression is when the price has decided to losing a momentum. So at this point, what I think would might happen at this point, if I could just highlight here, here at this point and just go here this point uh -uh. my monitor is giving me a hard time I don't know why so let me just dialyze okay so this point this is a nice sell né? this is a nice sell because the price is already taken out all the stop loss at this point né? So the liquidity was on was at this point, the stop loss was already taken off. So going to this level, there's a nice level of uh supply here. So this is gonna be a nice sell going down, eh? Going down. So if you can hold it, just it's gonna come here at this resistance. So this one is gonna be a nice level, né? It's gonna be a nice, nice, nice one for a nice sell. Uh, the pound USD on the daily time frame is going to be a nice sell. So for people who are actually, uh, and the stop loss is going to be really tight, ne? Going to be really tight. So you're gonna have, you can use a, a huge lot because when it's going to drop, man, it's going to drop hard. And I already had, I think, I already took here because this is a prod frame. So look, you see, I already took the 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 the, the sell here. It's just that the market is frozen because uh, the internet is down because of low shedding and stuff but you see i've already sold it and see how much i've made 
You see the date? The date is uh, the f uh, 8th of April. So this is the 8th as well. So you see, this is the 8th. This is the trade I took. And you see how much I've made. Ne? It was a nice cap. And it's still going to drop. If you go and sweep this trade, it's going to be actually a nice trade. Ne? So let's look at some other setups. Uh, let's go for the USD CAD. USD CAD. We had this USD CAD. We've spoken about it on the previous video on the pre on the last video we did analysis ne? this one was really nice ne? i've spoken about this one was the easiest so if you got it on the uh on the on the april group this was a very nice setup i've spoken about it and let's see so this one was more often confluence between supply and demand and trend lines so you could just look at here from this point to this point ne? what does the price is selling is telling you the price is going down so the market structure is very important if you're looking at the structure so we're going here from here to here we're going down from here to here we are going down again so we had a nice uh, conference from the train line saying us okay the structure is going down but we have another point that i wanted to spoke i've spoken about so many times are the candles and the spikes so if you could just highlight here there's a lot of spikes here so the spikes are rejection they're actually rejecting a certain price so you see rejection 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 so this is a very significant level né? so if we just delete here and just put a nice horizontal line here so this is a very key level né? so this is a key level cause of the rejection 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 and then it left the base the same thing what what that's how I was telling you on the USD CHF. Go back to the USD CHF. I've explained this same theory. Né? So this was a nice level of support and resistance. It becomes a swap zone because at this point it was a, a, a resistance and here it was a support. So this is a nice support, a swap zone. So it's a very significant level. So here's your demand. So what I did is just highlight the demand zone, highlight the demand zone, highlight it. I mean the supply zone, highlight the supply, highlight the supply, so this was going to be a sell, and then you stop loss just above the zone, eh? just above the zone, so the price did, did, did that as well, it touched the supply zone, and then it went down again, so it was a nice sell, so if you got it on the, on the, on the, on the April group, for those who, who still knew in the channel, the April group is actually a group where we actually share setup and trade ideas pdf we actually learn a lot of things so uh i'm gonna i wanna leave the link on sub on the description for the facebook group and then if you wanna join there's a certain fee you pay to join the group so let me continue so your stop loss was just have to be above so let me just go and check this pair because i think we had it as well here so let's just see usd usd CHF, there it is. You see, this was a nice setup, guys. So I'm actually showing you things that I, I, I okay. Let me. Oh, I, I've forgotten that the app has a problem. Let me open with something. Uh, let me just use this. Okay. Just wait a second. Please bear with me. So while you're still watching, please like, hit the like button and the subscription button. So you see. You see what I told you, ne? It's just that I don't know why it doesn't want to. Okay, let me use another, 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 what you call, another, another app to actually see this one. Okay, to open it. Okay, let me just go for Windows View. Cause oh there it is. This one looks nice. Cause I wanna show you both 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 pairs. You see, there is the there is the market, the before and after. Before and after. This was the setup I actually show in the group. You see, this was the setup I've actually plotted in the group. So this was a nice level, and I've actually told people at this point you need to sell. You see, at this point you need to sell cause it's gonna go down. This is what happened at the end. 
you see exactly this was the result né? so that's what you get when you're in the group and when you follow the channel these are the stuff you are actually gonna get you're gonna become an independent trader there's no selling dreams here there's nothing we actually know how to trade we learn deep stuff so let's go for another setup so this is the setup i've been talking about for a very long time the euro usd guys the euro usd everybody knows the euro usd is, is my wife this pair i love this pair this pair is actually the one that pays us a lot of money i love this pair this pair is my is my bread and butter so i hardly lose when i analyze this pair i hardly lose almost 95 95 percent of the time i'm gonna i'm gonna be correct so this setup here the euro sd the euro sd is gonna collapse guys you can see at this point from this point there's a huge compression here it's already explained that's gonna it's gonna be a huge sell so if you're gonna look at your left hand side there's a nice cosm also at your left hand side there's your left hand side so where's the cosm also okay let me just check the cosm also okay let me just okay it doesn't want to show well but this point oh there it is there's the cosm also so there's the shoulder and then there's the head so if you just put a nice horizontal line here a nice horizontal line here at this point this point this point so as soon as it hit here i know i know here let me just hit here just above the spike because i want it to be at the exact same point so this is a nice cosmos motor a shoulder and a head there is the brick this is the lowest stone eh? this is the lowest stone actually breaking the entire structure eh? so if you could just go here the price haven't the price haven't really reached this quasi monster so i still i still i'm still gonna wait for the price because there's a lot of compression but the price might push up a bit because you can see these spikes these spikes this point are actually showing you there's a if you could just i don't know if you can see properly the spikes here here if you just highlight here the spikes uh, these spikes you see they're actually showing you there's a nice level of a fake out because this is a nice resistance zone so there's a lot of liquidity here at this point there's a lot of liquidity there's a lot of stop loss here so the price might just hit uh this trend line and go and take all the stop loss and then decide to react on the quasim also now so if we just go here so what the price is going to decide to do here it might go up again so it's going to push up and then it's going to decide to drop you know this is a nice sell i can hold this sell probably for two months or a month to sell because this is where it's gonna decide to go up again this is the only level where it's gonna decide to this is the only level here because this is the only place where you get your demand so this is a nice setup for people who wanna swing this one ah this one is gonna make you man you see this is where it's gonna decide to drop and this is where it's gonna decide to go up again if it decides to go up but it's a nice sell going it's gonna push up a bit and then come back to this demand zone so this is a nice setup you know you know on our previous video just go to our i think it's may group we've spoken about the oh from february this year we've spoken about the buy this entire buying this entire buy we, like we actually analyzed the whole euro usd and we haven't lost even a single trade on the euro usd if you go on our favorite group we explained the euro usd we've explained so many times the euro usd is one setup i can actually tell you that we hardly because on quasi muscle euro usd is very very weak you know it's a very weak pair so i know i know for the fact that whenever i post a setup of the euro usd you're gonna make a lot of money so it's one of those trades, ne? So let's just check one of the pair I don't like, ne? So this is the, this is the USD, USD yen. I know a lot of people know my history in USD yen. Is one pair is the opposite of what I've just explained. The opposite, the real opposite of what I've explained. 
this is one pair I don't like, ne? But it's not about me, it's about my my students and everybody, ne? So let's just look at it and try and analyze it. So if you can see here, here yeah, this is a very nice FTR. This is a very nice FTR. We've explained it on the NZDCHF and we've explained it too at the uh what else? It was the USD CAD, ne? The previous setup of the USD CAD is the same setup. The price decides to break a certain level of support and resistance, and then it decides to leave a base candle, ne? And then you know that it's gonna retest, always retesting after breaking that level. So this base here is a nice level so here there's a nice level here that i know the price will come here but this is very far since we at the daily time frame so we're gonna go here lower so if you can see here lower at this point if i just highlight this point i see a nice uh trend line here where the price has been respecting eh? where the price has been respecting Where the price have been respecting so here we have a nice so i i'm not i'm not saying that since the price has been respecting it is going to go up and should no 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 this is just for confluence i've explained this so many times i only use trend line for confluence i don't trade trend lines and there's nothing wrong with actually trending trend lines if it works for you it's fine but me personally i don't trade trend lines i use it for confluence ne? So let's continue. So let's check at the. Uh, so you can see this has been respecting. So it decided to bounce up again. So if you could just zoom it a bit. So there is this quasi also here. There is this quasi that decided to drop the price. Ne? So you see here there's a shoulder and there's a head. And then there's a structure breaker here. So at this point, you can just put a nice horizontal line at this point and then just highlight it like this you see highlighted this was a nice quasimo so that's why i decided to drop again so i didn't took this setup because i'm not a fan of this pair there's 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 let me see do i have the usd jpy setup usd jpy I don't have this quasi also. Eh? GPY. I don't have the setup. Nah. I don't have the super. Speaking about JPY, uh, for those who uh who had funds with JP Markets, uh, there's been good news that JP Markets will be back again. So it's very exciting news, man. I think we need positive news at the first game. So, uh, congrats to Justin for actually bringing JP Market back, man. I think we really needed something positive in the forest markets. And I know that there's a lot of people who had funds there, and there's a lot of people that that actually uh, had a lot of money got stuck there. So, actually having this news, man, it's really good for forex. Uh, it's very nice, man. So, shout out, man. This is very positive uh coming on 2023 having jp market back and hopefully we're gonna have very city market back now because it was a very nice broker for certain people uh but bringing jp market knowing it was one of the biggest broker that we had here in africa and here in south africa is actually good man so yeah man so that i that i wanted to share so let's continue analyzing uh okay so here yeah. As I've explained here, this was a nice quasi motto. It respected it and it decided to drop. But I'm not a fan of this pair. Even when I see a setup, I'm just like pass by ne? and actually don't make decisions. So let's just check something else. Uh, okay, which pair would I check? Okay, let's go for the gold. Ne? The gold, the gold, the gold. Okay, let's go for the gold. So the gold is very tricky, guys. I. I, 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 this one is, this one is dangerous. This is the most confusing pair ever, man. And I've always tell people to make sure, actually make sure you use a nice stop loss here because you're going to have a problem if you don't use a stop loss. 
I'm telling you. So, um, uh, at this point, what you have here. Hey, see, I see. I saw this this move. You see, this move was a crazy move, man. Look at the gap, man. This thing, it, it's very dangerous, guys. You don't want to play here. You don't want to play because you know people that most of us, when we trade supports and resistance, there's always a trap. You see, now what it, it decided to do, this went above this resistance. So this is a nice resistance. Now this price went up, price has broken this resistance. So now it goes below the resistance level. So H, there's so much happening here. It decided to close uh, below the resistance level. So telling us that it respects the resistance level or it's a trap. So I don't know, man. Like, honestly, with the gold, I really don't know. So there's this small scalp that I actually posted on the group. Ne? So this was the scalp that I actually posted. Uh, let me go here. So this was a nice scalp. For a nice scalp here. So you have here what you call my favorite setup uh, FCR. Ne? This is a nice FCR. Ne? If it works, if it works, it works. Make sure you use a good lot size here. So you can see the spikes rejected, rejected this zone and it rejected this zone. And there is the base candle. Ne? Remember, the base candle is very important. So highlighting this entire zone. Highlighting this entire zone. Highlighting this entire zone. So spike, spike, spike. Uh, if you could just go here. So you see spike, spike, spike. Let's go for a hard time frame. So this, you see, already has respected. Eh? It's a respect at this point. Because this is a very significant level. You see, it attached it, it attached it with the spike and it decided to go down again. So I actually had to set up on the group. So the price might go down a bit. Because if you look at your left hand side, uh, the left hand side, uh, okay, it showed me, it's showing me something about if you look at your left hand side on this 30 minute time frame, just look at this zone, okay? It doesn't want to show properly, but this is a very significant and important zone. Okay, let me just go here. Uh, I don't know. You see this zone? You see, it's taken from the previous zone. So you see here, spike, rejection, rejection. Here, it decided to break this zone. So this is the same zone. Here and then it went. See, this is the same zone. Now, this is a very significant level. So, rejection, rejection. Even when it's broken, this zone. You see, when it's broken, how, how, how much of effort it puts. It went straight up, and then it breaks again, and it leaves a base. So, this is a nice sell on the gold. This was the easiest sell ever. So, this is the only sell tap. Make sure you don't hold it so long, cause. You never know what the goal, ne? You never know. I think I've, I've, I've actually shared the setup. So let's just check if we did share it. To actually show you guys, I'm not a fluke. I'm not a fluke. So I think it's gold. XA. There it is. You see? You see, I'm not a fluke. Like everything here. We share, I think we share on this month. I think I shared it yesterday on the May group. Ne? If you end the May group, there's this setup. Just go on your Telegram, you see, there it is here. It decided to react, and then this is where when I told you that it's gonna go here and decide to drop. So I'm just showing you guys that before things, before they even happen. Ne? So let's just check something else. Uh, uh, hey, this one, this one. This one is a monster, guys. You don't want to play here. I really don't know what is going to happen with the USDs. Uh, I'm so confused. I am so confused. I don't play anymore because 
it's showing me so many reactions. You see here, there was a nice Quasimoto. Here, you see a shoulder and then a head. And then you see the structure was broken. So you could just highlight here. Here, so it decided to break. Decided to drop. But I wasn't going to share that on course. I never share something that I'm not sure about. So I always want to make sure that I share something that I'm... I probably think would work out and people will actually make money so it was a nice setup it went out but I wasn't gonna show it I wasn't gonna share it oh what, what was another setup that I just shared in the group okay there is the setup I've just shared the same thing applied as the same FTR the same theory I've explained the spike look for the spike look for the price breaker resistance and support and then look for a base candle see there's a spikes here, there's a spikes, so just draw a horizontal line here, and there is the base candle, and then you highlight the base, and then you look for a set at that zone, and then you put your stop loss just above, ne? just above, so your stop loss will just need to be above the zone, so the stop loss just needs to be above, you see it retested, and then it retested, it's going down, so if you could check, I think I had the setup, uh, let me show you just show you that's how effective my proof is oh gp uh, oh gp yeah uh, no, no, no. Uh, okay let me, i don't know what because you actually like lose your mind man when you've put so many things in your in your in your in your laptop like I've saved it with so many things. J uh, uh, it doesn't wanna show. Okay, let's just go for J. Uh, okay, it doesn't wanna show but anyway let's continue. I don't know what what did I save it with like I re I've I've really forgotten, you know. Uh, there's so many setups here. You see, I'm no, I'm not playing here. I'm working. So many setups, so many setups, so many setups. Okay, let's just continue with some stuff. Uh, which pair? Okay, there's another pair here. I've been looking at ne? the 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 Euro Swiss. Ne? this is a nice setup. So you can see here. I've never like like posted the setup cause of some few reasons. So here it decided to drop here. So you see there's a small quasimoto here and then there's a base candle. So it decided to take the quasimoto and go down. If you could just look here, there's another buy quasimoto going up. So you just highlight here. Highlight this zone. Eh? So you see, this is a significant level. There's this, there's this spike, and there's this another spike. So here, going here, if you could just highlight, there, highlight here, you can have a nice spike going up there. But I wouldn't take this one, cause there's some few reasons there. The main reason is because of the time frame I've saw. I think it was the what time frame was what it was it. Uh, I think there is something I've saw here. Oh, okay. Okay, this actually might work, ne? Oh, let me see. No, this setup would work, guys. This is a very nice sell. I mean buy. This is a very nice buy. Because remember, I've spoken about the Euro USD, ne? The Euro USD needs to go up a bit. So, it might really work out here. So, you could just put it here and highlight the zone, ne? So, you could just wait for it to just drop a bit here and then decide to go up. Decide to go up again. And put your stop loss on the below the head, ne? Because the Euro USD, remembers, I told you about the Euro USD that the USD needs to go up so there's a correlation between those two ne? 
the all the euro base candles so it needs to drop a bit and decide to go up again yeah? so that setup of uh the backwards model might actually work out yeah? so let me just look check something else i've seen the usd cat usd fees uh oh, let me check this one usd cff because i've saw people actually posting this and i haven't saw anything yeah? So let me just highlight for well, some people okay we have a cousin also here this one was very uh significant everybody can actually see this one this cousin also here at this point so there's a cousin also here at this point so uh what we have here it's a buy cousin also eh? huh i've written it there eh? I don't remember. Probably I was setting someone. So if you could just go here. Because remember, guys, this always do a top down analysis. Always stick with the hard time frame to actually be more effective with your analysis. So what do you have here? You have a shoulder and a head and then a break here. So if you just put it this point here, we had a nice bioquasm also. So it decided to respect because of the structure broken here I'm gonna show you so this way it rejected so there's where the structure decided to break this stone and this stone eh? so it was showing you that the price is gonna go up so as soon as it went down so it's just going for the nearest nearest demand and then it went up so I'm just wait, hoping that it decides to go up at this zone eh? Because this is the nice significant quasi motor on the 4 hour. So let me just check at the daily. Oh, there's nothing on the daily. So this setup, you know what you're going to do. Just wait for it to decide to go up again. And then, then decide to sell it. So this is a nice quasi motor as well. So that's what you have here. So let's just look at for something else. Uh, Cat Swiss. Oh, you see, like look at the cat swiss and the uh, pound swiss same cosmos i didn't I, I didn't even wrote this this horizontal line the same cosmos so the swiss friend the swiss pairs are showing a bit of a correlation telling us they might go up again so this is another cell zone eh? so whatever decision decides to go up it doesn't matter so you're just going for waiting for it to come at this point to drop so the same thing applies on the you the pound squeeze you see these are the same setup they just have the the squeeze at the coast ne? it's the same setup so let's look at the oz pairs ne? what do we have on oz uh let me just look 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 okay there's nothing much here. There's nothing much. Uh, okay, let me just draw here. Because I love the spike candles. They always tell me something. What I might expect. So we have a nice rejection here. You see? Resistant, resistant, resistant. So I don't know. Then it, it's going to decide to drop here. This is where they're going to create the fake outs. Uh... It's a bit tricky when you when you think of it because there's nothing, there's no demand, there's nothing, so uh, it's a bit tricky. So let's go for the four hour. Uh, okay, it's very tricky, eh? so nothing here. So let's just go for another pair since we don't find anything. Okay, here we have a cell. Okay, the Swiss at this point doesn't want to come up and uh oh and uh so this the AUD is is actually behaving differently than the pound trees and the NZD trees so it's actually uh behaving different between those two né? so it's not showing me a much of information so if it doesn't show me much information i just pass and looking for something else so let's go here this is what you call okay here here i might be looking at this point because the euro as we explained the euro going up so this is a nice 
zone. This is a nice zone for an FCR, ne? So let's just wait for it to push a bit up on the weekly time frame and decide to drop on the space. So yeah. So this setup here at this point, highlighting here, and then just have to go up a bit as a nice FCR and then gonna decide to drop me. So yeah man, uh, I think I've analyzed most of the pairs, man. I'm a bit tired now. So please hit the comment. Uh I'm gonna come up with more content and please click the subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe and you like the 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 the, the, the content if you like it. And if you if you actually have some suggestions or stuff that you would like us to learn, uh please comment below and tell me what you learned and what you like about the group man. I appreciate uh all your 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 time to actually spend time and actually watch the video man i appreciate it. please click the subscribe button click the subscribe button make sure you show love to the boy yeah man bye for now thank you so much